So what they're asking us to do here is determine if this is a rectangle. Now, um, actually, is that it? So graph each quadrilateral with your given vertices. Determine whether the figure is a rectangle just to answer using the indicated formula. All right, so we're just going to determine that it's a, a rectangle. Um, determine that it's a rectangle, at least using the slope formula. Now, at least for us to determine that it's a slope formula, we know that the slopes okay, have to be um, pair or have to be equal for opposite sides, correct? Yes? OK. So let's go and plot the points first. That's the first thing. It's really hard to do these problems if you're not plotting the points. So we have negative 3, negative 2. We have negative 4, 2. We have 2, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And we have. 3, 1, 2, 3, 0. So does that look like a rectangle? Yeah. Maybe. Not, yeah. Sure. Maybe to Zeph it does. Maybe to Samantha it doesn't. You know, right? But I don't like when some people say, oh, yeah, it's a rectangle, because I know. And some people say, ah, oh, no, it's not a rectangle, because I drew mine wrong. Right? You've got to be able to justify it. So to justify it, we got to be able to show, oh, I'm sorry, I broke down my cardinal rule. You guys got to make sure you plot your, label them, please. Sorry about that. Label your points. To show that this is a rectangle, the first thing we need to do and show is that these two sides are parallel. Right? So to do that, we need to find the slope. Now remember the slope formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. You will not be provided that formula, so it is something that you need to practice and make sure that you have on hand. So to find the slope between QP, I just need to label these. x1, x2, y1, y2. So I do PQ. That's going to be 2 minus a negative 2 over negative 4 minus a negative 3. That becomes 4 over, um, that's a positive, so negative 1, which equals negative 4. Then I do RS. So between R and S, again, I'll relabel these points. I'll call this x1, this x2, this y1, this y2. So for RS, I have 0 minus 4 all over 3 minus 2, which is negative 4 over 1, which equals negative 4. So are those congruent? Are those parallel to each other? They have the same slope, right? Remember when you guys learned about parallel lines? Graphing parallel lines, as long as they have the same slope, they're never going to touch, right? So now we confirmed these are parallel. Now we got to confirm these are parallel. So now we got to find the slope between QR. Now, since I'm using a pencil, hint, hint, I'm not going to want to confuse myself with what I chose as x1, x2. So I'm just going to delete those, and I'm going to redo it. Because now I want to find the slope between QR, so between these two points. So now I'll label this x1, this x2, this y1, this y2. So for QR, what I have is 4 minus 2 divided by 2 minus a negative 4. 4 minus 2 is 2. 2 minus a negative 4 is, oh, it's 4. No, it's 2 minus a negative 4. 2 comma 4. OK. So that equals 1 third. And then let's go and check QR. Or I'm sorry, PS. So I want to make sure PS has the same. So to do PS, again, I'll label these x1, y1, x2, y2. So I'm doing PS, S, and then P. Okay. So I'll do 0 minus a negative 2. And I'll do 3 minus a negative 3. So therefore, I have 2 over 6, which equals 1 third. All right, so now, are those two parallel? 
Are they parallel? Do they have the same slope? Yes. yes, so that means they're parallel. So that's correct. Now, if you have two opposite sides, two congruent opposite sides that are parallel, does that tell you it's a, para, uh, it's a rectangle? No. Sorry, let me run it. Does that tell you it's a parallelogram? If it has two opposite sides? Yes, it does, absolutely. Because a parallelogram has two opposite parallel sides, right? And it's a parallelogram. But does that tell you it's a rectangle? No. Because what's special about a rectangle compared to a parallelogram? Um, the diagonals are congruent, right? But there's something else, though, that makes it true. There's something else. You're right, diagonals, but there, I'm looking for something else. Yes? That's true, but that's also true for a parallelogram, though. Um, I'm trying to think of what else, because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to distinguish, Damon, what is the difference between a parallelogram and a rectangle? Because yes, right now it has opposite sides that are parallel. We know now it's a parallelogram. But what are some of the differences that are going to make it a rectangle? We know the, ang the diagonals have to be equal in measure. There's something else, though. Every angle is equivalent to 90 degrees. Exactly. Every angle is equivalent to 90 degrees. So I'm going to give you guys a little bit of pain right now, a little knife in the side. Going back to algebra 1. So when you guys graphed, when you guys graphed parallel lines, right, we would go and graph them. And if you had to graph a new line, we knew that they were parallel. They had to have the same slope, right? Then there was other, time, there was other types of lines. If they weren't parallel, there the other, another type besides just intersecting was what was another special type, two types of lines? Parallel and per perpendicular. perpendicular. Now, Bertha, parallel lines have equal slopes. Do you remember how perpendicular lines slopes related to each other? Something about the slopes. Remember something about their slopes. Parallel lines have equal slopes. Perpendicular lines have um, rhymes with opposite reciprocal. Opposite reciprocal, right? What that means is they're the opposite signs. Are these two slopes the opposite signs? Is one positive, one negative? Yes. Are they? Re yeah. These are negative. These are positive, right? Are they reciprocals of each other? Is negative 4 the reciprocal of 1 third? Is 1 third the reciprocal of negative 1 or negative 4? What's the reciprocal, Mario, of 2 thirds? What's the reciprocal? 3 halves. What's the reciprocal of 4? 1 fourth, right? What's the reciprocal of negative 4? Negative 1 fourth. Is that our reciprocal? No. So guess what, ladies and gentlemen? This is not a rectangle. It looks like a rectangle, but it's not a rectangle, okay? Because they don't make a 90 degree angle. This is only a parallelogram. It's not a rectangle, okay?